This is a beginner's overview on everything to do with Zinfin and XDC. I'm going to make sure at all times to make sure this is as elementary and as beginner as possible. If afterwards you want a more complex and in-depth review of what XDC is and Zinfin, then let me know in the comments. So let's start with the basics. What is Zinfin? Zinfin is a hybrid blockchain platform that takes the best things out of public and private blockchains and mixes them up together. So look at it as a place for businesses, for example, to be able to use it privately, but also verify the transactions publicly. And this ultimately brings a really nice, transparent and secure system that I think is gonna be quite appealing moving forward. Now, XDC is the native token that operates on the blockchain. The blockchain being the Zenfin network. So ultimately think of XDC as the fuel that drives the blockchain, which would be the car in this analogy. It fuels the engine. And the XDC token can be used for transactions. It can be there to reward participants. And these two things ultimately keep the network thriving. So all different blockchains operate on different systems. And the blockchains basically can be categorized into proof of stake, proof of work, and a few others. What XDC does is it uses delegated proof of stake or DPoS for short. So essentially imagine it like this. You've got a group of people, individuals who verify transactions as and when they come through. Not only do they verify transactions, but if the block is run out and there's no more space within that block, they'll also create blocks to continue on that, that chain of transactions. These are the validators. There is another group called the nominators, and they basically give their XDC to the validators that they trust. And ultimately, you don't need to go into too much of the details, but it keeps the whole system reliable and efficient. And Zinfin has some really, really interesting features. One feature is that it's compliant with KYC. KYC stands for know your customer. And so if there are KYC compliance protocols within the network, this becomes really appealing for companies and businesses to use this network because they need to know their customer. In addition, it's also really good for regulators, which as we move into the future here and we figure out what the regulations are, if you have blockchains that are very regulator friendly, this is a really good thing for that blockchain. It's also really good at exchanging and connecting data. So there's different systems, so I'm just gonna read them off here. ERP, core banking, and even, wait for it, the SWIFT network. If you're unfamiliar with the SWIFT network, Essentially, when you send a payment or you make a payment around the world today, there is a message that goes before the payment is actually sent, before the value is moved. This message basically is facilitated by a company called Swift and it informs the bank on both sides how much they should be receiving and whether or not they did receive it. And there's, there's plenty more complexity to go into it, but there's a message that goes before the payment and Zinfin connects with Swift. That means it's really versatile, can be used in non-blockchain environments, basically to transmit messages from the traditional financial system to the new financial system, which would be the blockchain-based things. It can connect those two. It's quite interoperable in that way. I think that one of the main questions that people have is like, why should I even care about Zinfin and XDC in the first place? Well, I think it's three things. It's security, efficiency of the financial system, and financial inclusivity. Overall, it will help businesses streamline their processes and unlock markets around the world. And plus, it's really interesting as an investor too, because if you understand that there's gonna be this switching of the guard, changing of the guard from the old system to the new system, and you know that businesses, this kind of Zinfin network appeals to businesses and it's regulator friendly and it works with the old system and the new system, you know, these things start to make you think, you know, this might be something worth exploring more and that's exactly why you're in this video. You know, and not just looking at XDC as a way to increase its value over time, so therefore the value it's worth to you, but also there's ways to get rewards via staking and delegating your XDC. And so there's kind of plenty options here. I mean, the world is massive when it comes to Zinfin. So one of the ways that you can actually get hold of XDC, the way I would kind of do it, would be to get it on Uphold. And Uphold's a, a cryptocurrency exchange. The only place I don't think it works is New York of all places, <laughs> right? I, just there as well, like the rest of the world can use it. So the link to Uphold is in a description. But once you have your XDC, you can also participate in the market and, and the system by being a non nominator or a delegator, you know, and that completely depends on your kind of investment strategy and your desires and your interest. And so I want to kind of touch on just 
The real world use case of something like Zinfin and the XDC token and this whole network that they're building. I want to look at an example called Infactor.io. I was trying to get onto the website and it doesn't work, but I understand what they were trying to do. And I just want to use this as an example of the type of thing that they can do. Because we often hear in this space about XDC being the smart contract platform, how it kind of connects into the Ethereum network by the Ethereum virtual machine. I know this is beginner level, I don't wanna go there, but the smart contract system that XDC allows for opens up the whole world of basically everything. So I want you to have this little brain experiment here. Think about contracts and all the types of contracts that you can imagine in the world. For example, there is a contract to say, I have to pay a certain amount of money to pay off my house over time. There's a contract that's that, that mortgage, the deed. Every time you set up a will, or every time you set up a company, or every time you pay an employee, every time you make an agreement, every time you make a bet with a friend, these are all contracts, whether they're kind of verbal, written, invisible. There's so many different ways these contracts go. Employment contracts, everything. Futures contracts, when you're trading. Every single agreement that is made around the world is essentially a contract and therefore could be a smart contract. And a smart contract, just, just to bring everyone up to speed here, is essentially a contract that is on the blockchain that executes based on certain things happening. So if I wanted to move my house onto the blockchain and then sell my house, the smart contract could be set up when the deed is uploaded, when the lawyer has verified, when this happens, when this happens and this happens, property and the deed changes hands with the other individual, the, the person buying in this situation, and it all happens automatically. Or you could have other ones like, I bet my friend that Manchester United are gonna lose in this next football match. And as soon as the score is verified and it's come in, then the funds get switched over. And I know you can do this with like escrow accounts and stuff, but smart contracts are gonna be absolutely every agreement that you can possibly imagine. And so XDC as the smart contract platform, as we often refer to it as, is really in a interesting position from a regulatory standpoint, that swift thing, it kind of interoperates with the ISO 222 standardized messaging standard. Again, as a beginner, you don't really need to know that, but this is really, really important information when it comes to understanding which assets, which digital assets are going to be with us in the new system because really only a few are gonna rise up to be able to interoperate, to be regulatory friendly, and all of that stuff, and it has everything going for it, and XDC is just one of those, but let me get into this real world example of how Infactor.io can use the smart contract platform with XDC, and your brain can go anywhere, and there's probably someone working on that right now. Let me know all of the ways that you would use a smart contract, or XDC's, uh, or Zinfin's network here, to create a business, or streamline a process in your business, or whatever it is. Let me know in the comments, see how creative you can get. Infactor.io, they are a platform that manages invoices and accesses liquidity. They were using Zinfin to standardize their invoice data and ultimately made it easier for businesses to work with that business. So an invoice, again, is another type of contract, a, a contract to say, you know, we're going to pay you or this is the record of us paying you. And so XDC, Zinfin comes in perfectly for that to be able to facilitate that type of need. I, I've written down a few questions that I think people might be having about XDC. I'm gonna answer them here. The first one is, what is the difference between XDC and XDCE? And you might have seen this XDCE thing around, or maybe you haven't, and this is just a time to learn. So essentially you've got XDC, which is on the Zinfin network, but you also have XDCE, which is XDC Ethereum. And this token, is, it's a different token, but it's ERC20 based, which means it's a token native to the Ethereum blockchain. And it was created for liquidity purposes. So it's able to draw liquidity from other places outside of the XDC network. However, XDC is the only token that is native to the Zinfin network. A second question I see a lot is wondering whether XDC and the Zinfin network are actually really truly secure. And this goes back to the delegated proof of stake concept that I talked about earlier. And the great thing about this consensus mechanism, when I say consensus mechanism, that means basically a group of individuals, of validators, all agree they come to a consensus that a transaction is valid and trustworthy and, and can go through. And as a layer on top of that, only trustworthy nodes can actually even validate transactions and then combine that with the public and private thing that they have going on it just becomes a very secure transparent system 
And so the answer quite quickly is yes, very secure. Another question is what actually makes Zinfin unique? Why, why, aren't, what, why aren't there other projects that are just doing the same thing? What makes it unique itself? I think there's, there's three things here. One thing is that it's got that hybrid blockchain thing, the public and the private thing going for it. It also works with KYC, which means it's perfect for contracts because businesses do contracts. I think the main thing for me is that it can integrate with other data systems. So it's quite interoperable already. And that's not really necessarily that interesting to us as individuals, but when you look at it as from the perspective of an institution or a business, it starts to get really, really important. And then XTC starts to really stand out. And also remember, this is me trying to deliver the most unbiased of information here about XTC and Zinfin. Of course, there are people online that say, you know, the price is gonna go way higher than it is today. I don't really wanna dive into that because I think it's not useful for beginners to be subject to all the emotional ups and downs. I generally think you should try to stay emotionless. And if you try to stay unbiased and look at the positives and negatives from the level head, I think that's gonna serve you better moving forward, especially if you're a beginner. So remember at all times, if you're looking at buying any cryptocurrencies, make sure you do all of your own research, really try to look for problems in the world and then the solutions that fit those problems. And if you did get all the way through here, you are someone who's really interested in the way I'm delivering this information, I want to suggest that you sign up for my free cryptocurrency program that I've got going on. It's going to be coming out very shortly. I've got to do a load of filming for it. It's going to be breaking down everything in blockchain from taking you from absolute zero all the way up to kind of understanding your way around crypto, the terminology, the how to secure your assets, what you need to do next, how to start formulating a plan. All of these things are fundamental to the journey. So if you are a beginner, this I truly I want to emphasize, it's a beginner's thing. Many of you on this channel, you've developed quite a long time over the lifespan of this channel and you've truly become experts. But if you are a beginner and you want to learn more, the most comprehensive detailed way of learning, click the link in the description, put your name in and your email and I'll notify you when my free crypto program comes out. And I wanna reiterate, it's completely free. It might be one of the most comprehensive, exhaustive pieces of content I've ever made. We're gonna get into so much, you might need to watch it and put it on pause and come back the next day, that type of thing. But by the end of that video, you will be the guy in your friend group that understands what blockchain is and you can explain it to them. And not to mention, you'll also be better informed to be able to position yourself for this new financial change that's gonna be happening, this wealth transfer that's incoming. If you wanna watch another video in the meantime, there's a video right below me that the algorithm thinks is perfect for you. Don't leave the video without subscribing and clicking like. Leave a comment if you have anything that you want to add to this video. Stay emotionless and I'll see you in the next one.